a lot about carving bars and setting up a chainsaw for carving. So right now in this video, I'm going to do it as quickly as I can and talk about bars, chain, and the size of bars for the size of chainsaw. So right now, I'm going to talk about if you're a beginner and you want to buy your first saw. Your first saw for me would be depending on your budget. If you just want to buy like a hobby saw, I would get the Echo CS 490, which is a pretty simple saw, or the 310, which doesn't have much power. It's lighter, but doesn't have much power. The 490 is great. Now, I use the 501P. I think that this is one of the best bang for your buck saws. I use it for all my quick carve saws, or quick carves. I know that I can block with this saw. I can detail with this saw. I can basically do everything from start to finish. It's a bit heavier, but you can do it all. So if you just want to have one saw to start, I would say the CS490 or the 501P. Now for bars, they come standard with bars, but I never use anything other than a carving bar for any smaller saws. Reason being is there's no kickback. With your standard stock saws, it's a 3 8 chain on uh, 16 18 inch bar there's kickback so if you're not comfortable with it I recommend right away you order a 12 inch Canon dime tip bar a Canon dime tip bar and a 3 8 or sorry and a quarter pitch sprocket that's a quarter pitch sprocket because you're gonna be running quarter pitch chain so you have to switch the sprocket that comes standard and the bar and then get a quarter pitch chain cut now that is, this is a 14, but this is essentially what you would use. But if you're just getting started, I think that's a great starter saw. Now moving on up, you go to 3 8 Low Pro, and for that I use from a 50cc saw like this, the uh, 501P, up to the 800, which is an Echo 800, CS 800. But my go-to is the 620. I think that this saw is awesome. If you want the cheaper version, it's called the Timberwolf. But I use this, this is a small speed blocking saw, but for my, so here is the 24 inch Canon Tooney set up on a 620 PW. This is my go-to saw. Now for detail, I am now using the Echo 2511 uh, on an eight inch Canon dime tip bar quarter pitch chain which means you have to get a quarter pitch sprocket. That, this is amazing. This isn't out in North America yet, but you can tell this thing is so light and so powerful for what you get. I mean, it is awesome. So you want a detail saw? This is wicked. If you want a lighter saw that is still good, you can block, but you're just doing small hobby carving, the 361 on quarter pitch chain on a 12 inch Canon dime tip bar is another fantastic option. And if you're not comfortable with the heavy weight of the 500, the 361 is a fantastic saw. And I totally recommend that. And if you're gonna be full time carving, this is basically my setup right here, minus the C800 for the big time saws, the CS800. Um, also, there is other chains. So, for this saw, you can run quarter pitch 043, which you'll see still makes it, it's a micro chain. I personally don't love this chain too much because I find it very non-forgiving. It's a very thin saw, a uh, thin chain, so it will snap easily if you're going hard on it. And also, it's very, uh, if you do a cut, it's gonna do it, and it, it, it's, you, it takes a while to get used to. So if you're just starting out, I would say get a 12 inch dime tip cannon bar, quarter pitch chain to go with it, and either the 361, which is a little bit more because it's a pro version saw, the 310, which is a less expensive saw, kind of similar in between the 2511 and the 361, or the 501P if you want something that can do it all. Cut the trees in the backyard, carve. Basically, 
this thing is a little workhorse. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about any saws, please let me know. I truly think Echo is an amazing company. They have the amazing low range saws. You get a great bang for your buck. And I really beat these saws up. I really work them to death and they keep ticking. And also Cannon Bars, bar none, best bars. I don't really have a particular chain that I am in love with, so I can't really um, promote something that I don't really believe. I use Echo's um, uh, chain just because they provide it to me. I love it. Uh, still makes a good chain. Husky makes a good chain. Oregon makes the best chain. But really, it's to each their own. And, uh, and, and most saw shops only carry one brand, so you're going to be able to figure that out when you go to your local saw shop. You go to your local saw shop, take any of the notes. I'll try and post these in the uh, description below. And don't forget, if this helped out, please like this video, share it to your friends, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Hope this helped. I'm Ryan Cook.